Hello guys, this is Bea de la Fuente and welcome again to my channel The Buzzing Bee and this time I would like to make a reaction vlog on the most recently held 15th Miss International Queen 2020 which is being held in mostly in or which is being held mostly in Pattaya, Thailand but sometimes guys they do it also in Chonburi, Thailand the event was just held recently and it was on march 7 2020 so but before anything else let me thank again all my beautiful subscribers for your continued support watching my videos and for all of you guys who are just new watching my video a very welcome to all of you and please don't forget if you like the video guys please click the thumbs up share my video and subscribe to my channel so going back last March 7, 2020, a new queen was crowned by 2019 Miss International Queen winner Giselle Barbie Royal, who represented last year. The new reigning queen is from Mexico this year. And <clears throat> yeah, as I mentioned, Giselle Barbie Royal, who represented the United States last year, crowned her on March 7, 2020. She really deserved it because I think guys she exudes real femininity, elegance, uniqueness, intelligence, and the whole overall bearing was just completely beauty, beautiful, gorgeousness, and that's it. So she really deserves to win the crown during that night. So for those who do not know what's the Miss International Queen, it's the most prestigious and the biggest international beauty pageant for the transgendered women. And this is held annually in Pattaya, Thailand. <clears throat> It is the counterpart of the Miss Universe beauty pageant that is usually held during the months of November and December every year. And all the candidates of the Miss International Queen who participated in this contest came from the different countries around the globe. So the winner was selected based on her beauty, gracefulness, elegance, talent, overall bearing, and the most important thing is the intelligence. Because you know guys, in a beauty contest, the most important thing is the Q&A. And no matter how simple you are, during the first two portions, like the national costume and the casual or the swimsuit competition, if you can pull it out in the question and answer, see what happened in the last Miss Universe, the South Africa won because she's so smart, she's so intelligent, and she really just slayed everything there in the question and answer. So the question and answer is the most important thing, I think, of all the portions of a beauty contest. So this year, guys, the reigning queen um, who was from Mexico, her name was Valentina Fiore. Um, I'm not sure, um, but I know her first name is Valentina and she's from Mexico or Mexico or, or how do you pronounce it? So she received 450,000 Thai baht and that is already equivalent to um, US dollar, 20,000 US dollar plus. She also won lots of uh, sponsored gifts including, you know, um, fashion um being a model in a fashion magazine or being a model or being featured in the beauty magazine as well and also um she was offered i know as a movie contract in thailand and it will really change her life so anybody who won in the contest will really change her life so I remember when i joined before in 2017 and it was really produced a lot of lifetime memories so you ladies okay who were planning to to join a beauty contest then you really have to because you know it would really change your life and it's a one time or it's a lifetime that you would ever really uh, cherish it so let's go back and see guys what happened during that fabulous night and i'm gonna feature guys the swimsuit competition and let's see all those beautiful girls who participated in that pageant <clears throat> so this is one thing guys that I really admire on Miss International Queen. They never ever forget to produce a really good production number. Their stage is really magnificent and marvelous. It's really beautiful. So this is something that, you know, um, maybe the Miss Universe should really emulate too. And um, it's really beautiful. Australia. So this is the first disaster and yep, 
Australia transgender women always produces, always produce beautiful um, or sends always beautiful candidates for this pageant. And she is one of my favorites as well. And not only that, she's beautiful, she's so clean, and she gets gorgeous hair, really gorgeous blonde hair. And this is from Brazil. Yes, Brazil also is one of the favorites in most of the contests here, not only here in this international queen, but in other beauty contests. So because they have, they always have um, representatives that are really model-like looking and um, really gorgeous. One thing I noticed, guys, because in the last competitions or the beauty pageant of this international queen, the contestants always wear um, swimsuits in two pieces. But this year, it's only in one piece. Maybe something's changed in the regulations or what? Oh, I like this. I like her. This is me. And I like the confidence. Oh, I like her smile. She reminds me of Holly Berry. You get a sweet girl. Oops, I think she's just wearing it. It seems that she's not that pretty. Um, it seems that this is just her first time Debbie joining Indonesia. competition. Guys, if you're gonna be joining the pageant and you were given a sash to model it, don't throw it in the air and leave it there. It was given to you to model it because they want to see your versatility on how are you going to model it because you know the, the the package when you want this is a modeling assignment so Real you really Takahashi, have to show Japan. your versatility in modeling don't throw it in the air like that you having a hard time to walk down the stairs oops swirl your hair oh my god it's swirl super swirl yeah she's really a super swirl <laughs> super swirl Aliyah, City Sopa, Laos. Just from here. Oh, long leg, that girl. Laos. I like her face. Oh, she looks like Marianne. Marianne Rivera from the Philippines. A famous actress in the Philippines. Oh, she's pretty. It's beautiful. Rani Motar. She's slim. She's pretty slim. Malaysia, oops, swirl again, smile girl, you gotta put on your smile, remember this is a contest. The judges are always looking for the versatility of your look, so Valentina, you have to put on Asia, your, flaunt on your multi-faceted look. And yeah, Valentina Luchare, she, she was the one who won, she's from Mexico or Mexico. And she, oh my god, she's so tall, so pretty, she's like a model, she looks like a glam model who just, you know, came out from the fashion magazine and just walked all the way there to the stage of Miss International Queen, no wonder she won. I'm still watching. May, Myanmar. And this is from... Myanmar. I like her hair. She got, I'm wondering how we can get the thick hair. It's really thick hair. Maybe she should grow again. Maybe like aloe vera. And start putting on her. And start using it again. Oh wow. Look at that girl. Walk it girl. Walk it girl. From Norway. Turnham. Wow. I like her. She's tall. Oh my god. I like her color. She looks like a Spice Girl. Um, I forgot her. That's, that's the wife of um, David Beckham, Victoria Beckham. Oh my God! This one is fantastic. I like Peru. The way that she smiles. I like the smile. But guys, you have to put on your multifaceted face. They always look that. You have to show your fierceness, not just, just your Labari, sweetness, not just Philippine. your being naive. So you have to play your facial expression during this contest. 
and this is Jasmine Bars. Oh, she's someone in the Philippines, or we're attending the Philippines, and I know that she is the first transgendered woman who is a flight attendant now at the Philippine Airlines. And oops, Andrea R. She, she's pretty really good at playing the clock. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's a no-no guys. Don't ever walk in the stairs like you know your your legs are are you know are getting are gonna be separating. <laughs> and don't ever flaunt your tongue guys in the contest. If this is a beauty contest, you should show how clean you are, your elegance and you should put on your A game here in the contest because Republic of China. And this is yes, Taiwan, Republic of China. Luoy. There you go. I like the twitch of the shoulder. It's a common for those who are starting to join the pageants. I remember when I was still starting, I always do that when I post Thailand. Oh my god. Thailand always brings out and sends their finest transgender women to join this contest and see one of this from Thailand. It's really, really beautiful. And skin, without the skin, the beauty, the so slim. It's really gorgeous. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god. I cannot believe it. This is having a hard time to walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks like having a hard time walking. And she's from the UK. Oh my god, maybe she's just starting. Maybe she just had a surgery. And it's why? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I like her. So slim. Confident. And she's from Vietnam. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, I like that smile. See, those kind of confidence okay, are the judges are looking for, guys. And let's see from the overall contestants who's gonna shine okay, between or among among them when they're already in one line. Because sometimes you shine when you when you um run all by yourself, but you know, if you're already together with other girls in one line, you, you should shine and the judges see that. gorgeous women in this pageant um, this year so I think it's it's a hard decision for the judges who's gonna be winning or oh, I think that they had a hard time okay, choosing um, Valentina Fulichare but I I know she deserved it you saw you saw her guys and she really is beautiful so we're gonna go guys to the evening gown competition and let's see how they did it as well